Alrighty, so today in this episode we're going to be taking the entire front end off the Jada so we can do the dreaded crack pipe replacement and thermostat housing and thermostat? Something else? Probably thermostat. And actually refill it with coolant. So yeah, that'll be fun. Alright, so entire front end is off. Had to do it all one-handed, which kind of sucked, but that's okay. Next we got to drain the coolant and go from there. This pipe right here is what we're looking at, and they always fucking break go. Um, and leak. So that's fine. You don't have to take the front end off the car, but it helps if you do. Oh, look at that, water. Alrighty, pro tip I just started doing, take any bolt you take off and thread it back into the empty hole from whence it came. And that way, you really can't lose any of them. Also, damn, this is very exposed and open. Um, but yeah, so we're replacing this guy. Um, it looks kind of like it's been a replacement already, but you know what? Better safe than sorry, uh, and it'll help, you know, give me some peace of mind. Man, that's kind of crusty in the front of there, but not as bad as I thought. And also, we've got a, uh, it's got a properly done uh, secondary air pump to leak. So it's 42 Draft Designs plug for there, which I was wondering about. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Off of that, uh, all the assorted hoses off of that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then we'll get the housing off and the crack pipe out. Alrighty. And we are out. That one was leaking from like this nipple right here. It's hard to tell though, but those gaskets are definitely flattened. That definitely looks gross. What does not surprise me at all is that there just isn't a thermostat in here. So that's fun. That's a, that's a good sign. All right, so we're getting shit out, shit on, sensors out, sensors in, and we're just gonna go Alrighty, now this one, we're going to actually have a goddamn thermostat in this. I don't know why the old one didn't. Hopefully this car doesn't overheat, because uh, that would suck dick. So I stand corrected, this thing had just the top of a thermostat in it. Really unsure as to why. But like, yeah, there's no, there's no rest of it. There's just the top. What? Why? things all together, uh, we can go back ahead and put it right on in there. And uh, hopefully, yeah, this will be uh, no more leaks, no nothing like that. While I'm at it though, I might just paint the front bumper white because I've been meaning to do that for a while. Also, you can see the ever popular, cut out the front and bottom corner of the uh, airbox mod so that way it sucks in from, you know, the corner. Here you can see where I deleted the AC and power steering. Uh, I should probably cut that off, but I don't have a grinder or anything, so I can cut the rest of that bracket off. Uh, just because it does also go up and hold on the AC. I mean, the alternator. You got some, uh... What? Some cum on your head. I don't think that's cum. Some donut glaze? There's a pigeon nest on the corner of it. I am too foolish to zoom. And, and. I can make tea lattes. Yeah. Yeah, that don't have any, um, shit in them. Shit? Yeah, no shit allowed. All right, so we got everything back on. Uh, one issue I ran into is these two bolts right here are fine, but the one that's on the back, uh, the hole in the block is somehow stripped a little bit. Uh, so hopefully that's on enough. It, it's not going anywhere, but yeah, I guess it was stripped all along just because all I did was unscrew it, you know? Uh, and I don't think that would have stripped it and like no metal shavings came out, so I think it's always been stripped, uh, which honestly might account for the coolant leak. But I mean, hey, you know, at least now it actually has a thermostat. Uh, we're ready to put the radiator back on, put the bumper back on. Yeah, this car's definitely, definitely seen an accident before. 
because, yeah, don't know if that constitutes as frame damage or not, but who knows? I am filthy and gross, and I bought gloves but stopped wearing them for some odd reason. Look, I did something smart. I already showed them, but I'm showing you. All the bolts you take out, put them back into the holes they come from. Ugh. Ew, it got on me. It's just water. You're fine. Radiator's back in, and then we get to put the bumper back on, which that should be fun. Just a lot of wiring. Uh, excuse me. God damn it. All right, so update. Uh, had to reinstall uh, the crack pipe just because it was not seated properly. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this, but Right in here, right in the back where it seats into the block, it wasn't seated properly. Uh, ignore the steam, it's, um, you know, cool that it got spilled. Uh, but now it seems to be seated properly. Uh, everything looks bone dry on both ends. There's nothing dripping down right on there. Lost all that coolant, which that kind of sucks. So we got back together. Um, this took forever. I was gonna do strut mounts today too, but I might save that for tomorrow morning uh, just cause I'm fucking exhausted. It's no longer leaking as far as I can tell. So that's good. Um, it actually has a thermostat in it. So that's good too. So that was the long and difficult way of how to replace a thermostat housing and the crack pipe on my dumb Mark III VR6 which took forever uh, just because I didn't have it seated properly the first time. And you know, that kind of stuff happens. All right, so looking at this, looking like, yeah, we're right on the money as far as temp goes. We're out here painting at like three in the morning. So that way my neighbors don't yell at me. And, okay, thank you, cat. Hey. Too cold for you to be outside. With that I don't want cat fur on paint. Hey, are you hungry? He used to be really fat, so we got him this little egg sizer thing, so he actually has to bap it around to get the food out of it. And it's pretty fucking cute to see him use it. And it's been helping, because now he's just kind of thick lad as opposed to an oh my god that's a giant cat which is what he was before this cat's name is princess uh short for princess carolyn and she gets eaten out of a bowl because she's not giant oh, yeah and uh forgot to mention his name is pluto yeah 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 i know you want to eat your food all right, so it's day two. Uh, I repainted the bumper, I repainted the grill, uh, I repainted the VW emblem for the front. Uh, it looks like hot garbage, but that's okay. The emblem is now super colorful. I kind of want to go to like the junkyard and get a set of already white fenders just because the ones that are on there, the paint's a little messed up, but it's original uh, Windsor blue, you know, the, the, the metallic one that color shifts a little bit. So I'm not sure I really want to like mess that up. I'm literally standing here watching paint dry. It's like the main point of this car is just, how infuriating can it be for everyone else? <laughs> well, how infuriating it can be for you too. Well, that just comes to the territory. So yeah, turns out I'm a giant dummy. That was just finger tight. That's why it spilled everything on the ground. <sighs>
Alrighty, so car's fixed. I uh, got that hose clamp tightened up. It doesn't leak any more coolant or water. Um, we recently hit 50 subscribers, so I have a video in the works for that. I also have two more meet the shit boxes planned. And uh, yeah, just goes to show that you can fuck up twice, spill 60 bucks worth of coolant on the ground, and uh, apparently your Volkswagen will forgive you for it. So thanks for watching and um, have a good one. I don't know.